So, in this video, I am going to make your CS go from this to this. So let's start the video. First, I want to show you my specification. I am using Intel Core i3 4th Gen processor, 4GB DDR3 RAM, and Intel HD Graphics 4400. First, you have to set your resolution to lowest, change your aspect ratio to 4 ratio 3, and set resolution to lowest. Also make sure that you are in full screen mode. Now make sure that your settings matches with me. And don't forget to apply it. If the black bars on both side bothers you, then follow me. Right click and go to Intel Graphics Properties. Click on Display and select Scale Full Image, and apply it. Now your game should look like this. Hey guys, so from this part of this video, I am going to use my own voice. First go to your Steam Directory, in my case, it is installed in my E drive. Then click on Steam Apps, Common, CSGO Global Offensive, CSGO again, CFG. Finally create a file named autoexec.cfg, if it doesn't exist. Now open this website from the link in description. Here you will find a code. This code was provided by Lowspec Gamer. You have to copy the full code and paste it in the config file that you created before. Finally, don't forget to save the file. Now go to CSGO game setting, then click on game tab and enable developer console. Now you have to assign a key from the keyboard to toggle the console. By default, it is this button from the keyboard. And if you press this button, the console should appear like this. Open the console and type exec space auto exec and hit enter. Now if something like this appears in your console, that means the config has been activated. Let's try it out in the game. If you press L from the keyboard, then all the blood effect from the entire map will be removed and you'll get a slight FPS boost. But remember this is temporary, whenever you see blood, you have to press L again. So that's all for this video. If you follow all the steps properly, then you'll get a noticeable change in performance. And thanks a lot guys for supporting me until now, I really appreciate that. If you face any problem, then comment it down below, I will try to reply you. So yeah, see you in another video, until then, it's a goodbye.